before anybody asks this is not mine it's my sister's emily i haven't actually asked you if i could wear it but that's what sisters are for right dude huh <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. It is a Q&A about my science degree. I asked you guys to ask me some questions over on Instagram and on my last YouTube video. So I'm sitting here now and I'm gonna answer some of them for you. Oh my gosh, it's literally like deja vu. Milky, you did the same thing in my last video. Again, oh my gosh. People are gonna be like, that cat is literally attracted to you like a magnet. Which she is! I really hope you can't hear the chainsaw because it's an awful noise outside and I really hope you can't hear the noise. So I'm really sorry in advance if you can hear an annoying chainsaw in the background, but anyway. So I've got the questions on my phone here. We're just gonna answer as many as I can. Right. Tuh. So I'll just introduce myself if this is the first video on my channel that you have watched. I am a science student studying biological natural science at the university, which is basically biology, especially in my second year, and I'm at Cambridge University. I think that's basically all I need to brief about myself. And I'm Holly, hi. Hi. Gabrielle. Okay, so question number one. Which modules did I study last year and which ones do I study now? So yes, I'm in my fir <laughs> first year, no. So I'm in my second year of university. In my first year, I did biology of cells, evolution and behavior, earth sciences, which was geology. And I thought I'd be a bit different, you know? And I also did maths for biologists, which is basically maths with like a load of twists and it's the hardest maths I've ever done in my life. But anyway, it was the maths option that the biology students do. Yay! It was great. Mm, about that. Anyway, you can look on the website if you are interested in the course. But then, as I'm in my second year, I now only do three modules. Woo, whoopie do, only three modules now. Supposedly less work, <laughs> no. There's a lot of options to choose from in second year. I was overwhelmed by the choice and it really was a hard decision for me. I, I spent so long making decisions. I'm the worst person with making decisions. But anyway, we finally got there and I'm currently doing biology of disease or pathology, where you basically study about disease and stuff. Great explanation, Holly. Um, I do cell and developmental biology and then I also do neurobiology. So that's about the brain and the nervous system. So they're more specialized than my first year and obviously I'm, I am finding them very interesting. Fun story though, it didn't go as smoothly in my first week of first term. Sorry, the lighting is changing by the way. So, so I went into second year with my modules that I'd chosen and I went into my DOS meeting and originally at that point I thought I was going to do biology of disease that was a definite I really wanted to do that one I really wanted to do CDB so they have little shortened names one is path that's pathology or BOD biology of disease either or CDB is cell and developmental biology and neuro is neurobiology but I thought that I was going to do BMB and that is biochemistry and molecular biology. So that was my third option instead of neuro. At this point, I went into second year like, okay, so I'm gonna do CDB, BMB and PATH. Then we had like the kind of induction thing where we went and collected some course information, some course handbooks. And I also collected like the BMB, the biochem practical booklet, which was literally as fat as a doorstep. I still have it. And I remember looking at it when I got a bit of time and I was literally, I almost had a heart attack. I was like, oh my gosh. I looked at a few of the pages and I was literally like, no, I really can't do that. Just no. Oh. In the practicals, it had everything that I really didn't enjoy in first year. And I was like, mm-hmm. So basically, I got straight on the phone to mom and I was like, mom, I don't think I want to do this module anymore. I think I want to change my modules. I got into a massive panic. I got really stressed and I was like, oh my gosh, is it too late to change my modules? Because I went to the first lecture. I did the first practical actually. And 
having gone to that practical, having gone to the lecture, having looked at that lovely practical booklet, I did come to the decision that I didn't want to do biochemistry anymore. I was like, no, I don't really think that's for me. It didn't really fill me with much enthusiasm, shall we say? So I decided that instead of biochemistry, I'd just do neuro. And I'm so glad I made that decision. I am really liking neuro. It wasn't too late. And I'm so happy with the modules I'm doing now. It's all fine. Capiche, capouche. Next question related, do I have any particular favourites? Are any more difficult than others? So I think whatever module you choose to do, there are going to be certain topics that you don't enjoy and certain topics that you do enjoy. And obviously things are going to be a bit more difficult sometimes. I'm, I don't think any module is easier than others. I don't think you can pick one as like an easy way out or as like a, a DOS sort of one. But um, in terms of favourite, I don't really think I do have a favourite. Well, actually, I think the one that is most interesting for me personally is biology of disease and pathology. I literally love what we're learning about. It's so detailed. There is so much to know. The multiple choice questions will be the death of me. But I think it's so interesting learning about how like disease manifests itself in our bodies. Say, for example, I suffer from hay fever and being able to know what happens inside my body, my body when I get like itchy eyes and I get a runny nose, it's really cool. I love it. So I think pathology of disease probably might be my top, but I do like them all. I should also say that some of our second year modules for natural sciences overlap with those that the medic students and the vets do. This lecture theatre is huge and there are so many people that do that module because it's studied by medics and vets. The same with like pharmacology which I don't do is studied obviously by medics and vets I think as well this is the one that kept coming up <clears throat> I'm losing my voice what do I plan on doing after my degree PhD master's job take a break what am I gonna do literally this was probably the most frequently asked question to be quite frank right now I don't really know I had my DOS meeting at the end of last term and I sat down with my DOS and she was like, so Holly, um, you know, like third year, fourth year, what do you want to do sort of thing? And I was like, um, I don't really know. I might dance, you know, work my butt off here and then just dance, you know. I basically didn't really know. I didn't really go and prepare to that meeting and... I haven't actually given it that much thought. So one of my goals or things to do for 2018 is to actually kind of sort out what I want to do and have kind of a vague plan. I do have ideas. There are lots of things that I would love to do. Recently I have thought of one, which is quite a, it's a decision that's quite out there and it's a very big decision if I made it. I'm not gonna tell you what that is just yet because I haven't finalized it yet. My course is a three or four year course. I can either leave after third year, um, having done a dissertation in my third year, or if I did a research project in my third year, then it means that I can go on to do a fourth year. And I think that's a master's. Somebody asked me if why is natural sciences a BA degree, even though it's more scientific. And I don't actually know. Like, Holly has no answer for that. <laughs> Maybe we should ask Google that question. It's not actually telling me why. So I don't really know the answer to that question. <laughs> and I'm not gonna try hard and make up an answer because I don't know why. But in terms of career opportunities and things that you can do following a science degree, there's a whole range of options. I mean, it's not a degree, say for example, like law that leads straight onto a career, like you become a lawyer or you become a barrister or something. A science degree is much more flexible, I suppose. So you can, yes, you can go into research. You can go into like banking or the city. You can become a teacher. You can go into conservation. You can maybe get into politics and working with the environment side of that. There are so many career opportunities. It just really depends on what you want to do. Okay, next question is kind of related to research. And a lot of people ask me this as well. How do I feel about having to work with animals in the lab classes as I am vegan myself? Um, has it made a career in research impossible? So, hmm. And doing a science degree, it's very practical as a subject. You do have labs and practicals every week, all the time. Animals are used in labs at the end of the day. My university does test on animals, I know that. 
In my first year I didn't do physiology of organisms and in that module they did do dissections so I didn't have to do any dissections in my first year at all. Even uh, it's a, this is such a hard one because it's like without the research that has been done on animals we wouldn't have the knowledge that we have but then it's like I don't really agree with say in psychology putting all these weird headsets and like stimulating neurons in like cats brains or monkeys brains and probing things in their eyes or even using flies and just dumping them in morgue to kill them after you've bred so many stocks and i'm not saying there's a right answer for this and a wrong answer for this and i'm not saying that what i think is right and a lot of people might disagree with what i say so that's why i was like oh i don't know what to say for this question i don't really have a that great an explanation but i mean i don't think i want to go into research that is something i can say quite definitely i really don't think i want to do that so i would not therefore have to work with animals and it wouldn't therefore conflict with me being vegan but in the meantime um when i'm studying i just observe when animals are used if i had ever had to do a dissection i probably wouldn't in some of the labs they use dummy organisms that you can work on so i would do that and I mean, working with flies um, and doing the genetic crosses and things, personally, I didn't really see the benefit of me using a paintbrush to move and transfer flies into different tubes and vessels to then breed them and then see the results the next week. I know some people are going to think, well, that's stupid, Holly, why are you doing a science degree? And you're not going to agree with me, but I didn't really feel that I was going to benefit or learn anything from doing that so I just thought that I would observe and even though the demonstrators in the lab are like are you scared of flies do you have a phobia and I was like no like I just I just don't want to work with them I don't want to have to kill the flies at the end having done all these experiments so I'm sorry but that is what I wanted to do and or what I didn't want to do so it's a it's a very hard one though it's, it's really conflicting because a lot of research is carried out on animals bottom line I definitely don't agree with testing on animals for in terms of beauty products because beauty products are not necessary drugs on the other hand are they necessary in some cases yes they definitely are in others I, I, I don't know it gets so hard please comment down below what you think about this and share your ideas if you're vegan as well but I know that a lot of you who asked me this were vegan yourself and you were like what do I do if I want to study science but I don't want to work with animals so I choose to observe rather than participate and at the moment I don't really think I want to go into research so we've done a lot of in-depth questions we need a little breather and I found this one and I was like I want to answer it random question for you all how tall am I I'm five foot four and a half not to do with my science degree nothing related at all um okay another quick question how many exams do I have um at the end of this year so oh I haven't actually counted them yet so this is a good time to do it I suppose so I do three modules three um for neurobiology I think I have two exams I mean I might have even got this wrong I think I have for CDB I definitely have three and then for pathology I think I have three and they're long exams are like three hours most of them anyway. Am I happy with the degree I chose or do I wish I've chosen something else? How do I know it is the right course for me? Did I consider veterinary before? I kind of threw some questions together. So I did actually consider veterinary um, before I considered doing that ski. Uh, yeah, so in year 10 I thought I was gonna become a vet because I did work experience in a vet. I mean, it was fun, but I saw a bulldog come in who had swallowed a ping pong ball. So they had to open up the dog's stomach and remove the ping pong ball. And I was just a bit like, stunned and I was kind of like I don't think this is the right job for me so um I kind of turned away from vet med but I did consider it I am definitely happy with the degree I've chosen um I do love science I think it's um a really great subject uh, the field is like so dynamic it's really there's so much progress being made there's so much new stuff to learn and take in for anyone whether you're an old scientist or like a young one like me so so i don't regret choosing natsuki um how did i know that i wanted to do natsuki well i basically enjoyed biology at a level um i think it was my probably my favorite a level um 
And so I was like, hey, uh, I might do biology at university. So if you do enjoy science, then you probably are gonna enjoy natural sciences because it's diverse, it's very flexible, you can specialize in what you want to, and it's very rewarding, so yeah. How many contact hours do I have? Does it change? Um, I haven't actually counted how many hours I have of contact time per week. It does change like from year to year, so I've had, I had more contact hours in my first year um this year i have say on an average day let me get my diary i have a day in my life video which might be quite useful i'll put it like link above so the most i could probably have on one day is like i think maybe six hours of contact time um but obviously that's the most and i don't have that consistently every day so it does depend each day it depends on my timetable it depends when i put my supervisions because they're more flexible than lectures which are just like set for everyone but yeah it's the practicals that take up most time they're normally like this year i think my longest is like five hours four five hours um last year i always had like five hour labs on a monday and it was like <gasps> um would i rather have fewer or more contact hours i think i'm content with the amount number of contact hours i have um if i had to say more or less i would probably say less because sometimes my day is crammed with so many things i have to do i'm here there and everywhere when in reality i'd much rather just be in my room at my desk i do find that yes lectures are useful you sit and watch somebody talk to you for an hour sounds really daunting but that's what you do um supervision sometimes can be really useful because if you don't understand something it's nice to just be able to ask them questions and for them to give you more information it's it's quite cool because they know a lot of stuff and they're really clever and you're like wow <laughs> I feel a bit intimidated sometimes, but how long is this video? I don't even know how many questions I've answered, but I just wanted to try and answer as many as possible. What do I want to do for a dissertation in my last year? So if I did a dissertation and I can choose whatever I want, then I'd want to do it about bordering on nutrition, plant-based nutrition and veganism and stuff like that. I don't think there's any more questions. So I have picked out the questions that are specifically to do with my second year degree, my modules this year as opposed to like studying and applying because I thought that I would keep those things for separate videos. So I will be doing um, videos very soon in the future. I will be doing more study with me's because you guys really like that one. Um, I'm gonna be doing revision tips videos. Stay tuned for that, which I filmed this morning. If you want videos about applying, then please like this video and comment down below as well. If I haven't answered your question, it might be because I'm doing a video on it. And if I haven't, then I might have missed it. I'm really sorry, but I hope this has given you a bit more of an insight into my degree and what I'm doing this year because I finally told you what modules I'm doing. Um, also, I should say, actually, when I do have a bit more of a think about what I want to do in the future in terms of jobs and careers and stuff, I probably will tell you guys and I will make a whole video on it because I am going to do a lot of thinking. I am going to try and sort out what I want to do. I know I haven't answered that question very well in this video but hopefully I might be able to do it soon in another video about choosing career paths and what I want to do. Please like it as I said, comment down below if you have any more questions, video ideas. Yes, if you're new as well please hit that subscribe button and if you haven't already the little bell apparently tells, apparently tells you when I upload so you can click that as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah I will speak to you in my next one. Goodbye! You want to say bye? Say bye now? Say bye. Say bye to everybody. They like seeing your face. <laughs>